Hi guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. We're off to the Hawthorns today for the home vlog against Bristol City. Looking to bounce back after that woeful defeat and performance at Swansea. And to be fair, I just want to see a good performance. Um, I don't think we've had a good game in a while, to be honest. And we've scraped wins here and there. We're not playing too well. So hopefully there'll be a complete performance today along with the three points. There's no Jake Livermore today. He's suspended, which is a little bit of a blow. So Jason Malumbi will come in, I'm sure. And then we're assessing Alex Moat. So there might be a, a first start for Robert Snodgrass on the cards this season. For a prediction, I'm going to go 2-0 to West Brom. Hopefully we can bounce back and return to winning ways because we really need to with the pressure being put on by Bournemouth and Fulham. So let's get down to the Hawthorns now and see how the action plays out. Just a little side note before the vlog starts as well, guys. If you could please subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit 800 subscribers as soon as possible. And if you could help me reach that milestone, I'd really appreciate it. Let's go on with the vlog. <laughs> Brilliant.
Snuggy Snodgrass. Get come on, Furlong! Man, nice. Have a shot. Go on. Oh, lucky Jason. Go on, go on, play him. Yeah, here go for the hat trick. Most of the time. Oh, oh, decent effort. It finished West Brom 3, Bristol City 0. What a totally different performance that was uh, compared to what we saw on Wednesday night against Swansea. The change in midfield really worked. I thought Jason Malumbi and Robert Snodgrass together were outstanding. The team flowed much better because we had an outlet in midfield, someone to pick up the ball, put their foot on it and, and pick a pass that was right to go forward. Um, for I do get on with the review again. Just want to wish the two fans that had to have medical emergencies, one West Brom and one Bristol City fan, um, really hope they're doing okay. It was uh, tragic to see the game delayed and, and, and then have issues, um, but I hope they are doing okay. Along with Nathan Baker as well, the Bristol City defender looked like a pretty bad injury to his head or neck, so hopefully he, he's good as well. But Back onto the game, I thought Malumbi and Snodgrass were excellent in midfield. Did way more than what Livermore and Mowat have done for me over the last few games particularly. Um, the defence was good. I thought Barty had a really good game along with Ajayi and Clark. Great to see Hugo get off the mark. It was a lovely sweeping goal with uh, a couple of passes. Then into Hugo for the tapping. He could have had a hat-trick today with the, the chances that he missed. Then the long throw working again with Bartley. Good flick on Rosewell to head it home. And then Carlin Grant grabbing yet another goal. Six in six for him now. Poor, poor back pass. Um, error from Bristol City. Grant in and slotted it really well on the first time shot. Um, really good finish. Could have had a few more. Had the opportunities but didn't take them. But all in all, really comfortable afternoon. It was really important to get... Back to winning ways. Obviously, next week, massive away game at Fulham. Needed that type of win to get the confidence back up and um, head into that one as, as confident as we can be. But, uh, guys, if you enjoyed the vlog, make sure to smash a like on it. Comment down below what you thought of West Brom, Bristol City. And subscribe if you're new to the channel, like I said at the beginning of the video. And I will see you guys for more videos very soon.